Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how we make a set of corbels out of spare wood. We love taking old pieces from previous projects and using them for future items that we may use in a retail space or in our own home. Um, Zeb Ray of Jamie Ray Vintage inspired us to do this and um, I think that absolutely they are the uh, best at it in my opinion, but we really want to strive to make these look exceptionally great for someone who might want to use them in their home because we will probably put these in a retail space um, at the Brass Bear in Birmingham. So these are the steps that we use to make corbels. Let's show you how. We'll start with two pieces of lightweight poplar wood that I picked up at Home Depot. They're measuring 15 by 16. They cut it for me there at Home Depot. And then we will use just these two pieces of wood for our set of corbels. I'm cutting these corner to corner. That way we have the overall shape needed for the corbels in two sets of triangles. I'm using a jigsaw in this project because it's a bit more versatile and will help later on when we do all the turns and twists that will develop the shape of the corbels. Now I'm using Tight Bond Original Wood Glue to take a pair of triangles and glue them together. And this will give you a feel for the overall thickness of each corbel. Now I'm taking a set of clamps that I picked up at Harbor Freight and we'll clamp these together to allow them to dry. I simply searched a pattern online, cut it out, traced it against the wood, and then cut it out with the jigsaw. As you can see here, I already have one set cut out. And it's best to just use the first set as your pattern for the second set so that way you know you have the exact cuts. I did take some liberties in adjusting the pattern a bit to make it a bit more custom, and I think it turned out great. I'm using these pieces of wood that I had left over from another project and I'm just gonna cut these out, glue them onto each end, and this will sort of trim it out to make it look a bit more uh, polished and uh, give it a bit more height as well. Wow, they're all together and they look amazing. So we're gonna now take them up a notch and we're gonna add some paint and some extra detail that'll make them look fantastic. Now I'm applying DIY Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina as a base coat and a base layer for the corbels so that way when we do apply the paint we'll have a darker layer underneath that we'll bring back through. Now I'm adding Vaseline in key spots to use as a resistance to the paint so that way it'll be easily distressed and bring back a lot of cool character. Now I'm using DIY Crinlin and that is more of an antique white which I think will be an amazing look for these corbels. Now to lightly distress using a damp cloth. Now moving on to applying the IOD crackle stamp at key spots. Now to our final step of using DIY clear wax to give it an aged patina, and then we will use a soft cloth to rub it back and polish it up a bit. And here's the final results. These look amazing. We thank you for watching our channel. Please find us on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>